Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so, uh, it's been a little while. Once again, I think I keep saying that, but yeah, it's been a little while since I released a video. I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering what's going on, and yeah, just the same old, same old. That's all I gotta say is, basically, school has once again caught up with me, and yeah, just been overwhelming. I, I really do apologize because I want you guys to have videos all the time and it's just kind of been a very sporadic thing these last couple weeks, but got good news and bad news and, you know, whatever, but basically I will be done in about six weeks or so, I think. It's something like that. It's like six, seven weeks I'll be done and uh, we'll be back to normal programming, hopefully. So, yeah, that... that that is some good stuff, at least for right now. Um, there's a few things. Uh, modded will be back soon, so I want you guys to know that we will definitely be back to modded. And all that good stuff will continue just very, very soon. Just be patient. That's all I can say. But, wow, this is looking pretty awesome. It feels good to be back. It feels good to be playing again. Pretty sure I'm going to make some mistakes. That looks awesome. There we go. Get rid of that. Now, yeah, uh, subscriber submissions. That is something I haven't mentioned in a long, long time. And, yeah, this definitely, definitely been a while since I've done anything involving that subscriber submissions and all that other good stuff. But I think I will be releasing an episode very soon. I just gotta do a few things here and there as far as making the title card and all that other good stuff in the thumbnail and just make sure that everything is done but I think I will be doing another one of those very soon I do have a very I won't say a very big backlog but I do have a lot of stuff and once again if you want to submit something it's at the end of the video uh, there will be a link to where you can actually submit your craft I also took the liberty of setting up for those of you who are on my steam page i have a steam page dedicated page it's just goose XC ksp you can actually search it in google and find it i think it's on my page and my info and all that other good stuff but if you want to go ahead and add me on there i also set up kind of like a forum like thing i usually post when my latest videos are out and um you know, whatever. You guys can go and check out the forum and have fun with that. I, I try to post some pictures on there to kind of kick off everything, but I do not have the Steam version of Kerbal Space Program, and because of that, I Steam is really weird when it comes to its screenshots and uploading screenshots and all that stuff. I really don't know how it works 100%, so basically just been having problems with that. We gotta drop an engine. Yeah, there we go. I, I probably held on to that thing for way too long. So yeah, I set all that stuff up. So if you guys want to go ahead and just go and check that stuff out, go ahead. Um, you know, same thing with my Twitter too. I usually just kind of post my videos or if I find some cool stuff. Now, I did subscribe to SciShow for those of you who, um, you know, are watching other YouTube channels, which I, just about everyone does, including myself. SciShow just started a new channel, which is like SciShow Space, I believe it's called, which basically they're going to be covering all kinds of space-related stuff. Not that SciShow itself doesn't already cover a whole bunch of space-related things. So, yeah, it's just been pretty good so far. I mean, I'm really looking forward to finishing school and kind of getting a lot of the stuff done. The modded series has been going really well. I ended up kind of hitting a brick wall when it comes to our modded ship. There is a little bit of a problem, and I'm currently trying to work it out. I don't know when the next modded... For, for the Jewel 15 Explorer that I built, I don't know when the next episode, or at least the next part, will be added. I'm kind of working with the Unity engine, trying to see if I can figure out how to make my own part... But I, I, I really don't know exactly how it all works, but the main thing is is that with that ship, um, we're looking at something about 80 engines, guys. So we're having some problems, a lot of problems. 
and the frame rate has gotten very, very bad. It's almost to the point where it's almost unusable. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing with all of this stuff and how everything is going to work and just about everything involved with this ship. But nonetheless, I will be completing it, and I'm thinking of building some kind of a space station next in orbit around Kerbin, and I'm looking at getting a few mods installed, maybe some really crazy stuff, I don't know, but a few different mods, I should say, and I was looking at a, basically a mod to where you can produce your own fuel in space, as opposed to Keythane, but I don't really know if I'm going to do that, and I kind of will wait a little bit, and I want to ask you guys' opinion on all that stuff, but yeah. So let's see, alright, bring this up. And we're freaking like almost in orbit. We're uh, just not even... All we need is just a little bit more and we'll be pretty much good. Come on. Now, I'll cover this a little bit once we actually get uh, into orbit here and we can actually get some light. Now, the one thing I did is that the same thing as I always do on all my modules, even though you guys complain about it a little bit, is I didn't really put any light on this module, and I don't really put lights on a lot of my stuff, because in my opinion, it's just added parts, and for the most part, you don't really need it on, as long as you're on the side with the sun, so it, it really doesn't matter so much. The light side, or whatever you want to call it. Because for each planet, it's a little bit different. Let's see. All right, let's get out to... I think it's 210, I think, is our orbit. Something like that. 215. Now, I do plan on launching most of these all at the same time, kind of like I did before. So, you know, I, I really don't know how that's all going to work out, but... I'm gonna try. It's gonna be a little bit of a... The last time I did this, it was very taxing, and it really did kind of just destroy me overall. I was... At the end of that video, my brain was like mush, so... 15 launch... or not 15 launches. Um, what is it? It was... 9 launches. But I also ended up adding fuel tanks and all that other stuff. But I'll be taking care of most of that stuff off camera, because that's just way too much stuff to show you guys. So, but yeah, so the, the definitely subscriber submissions will be picking up again. Um, I, I do have about six, seven craft or so that I could potentially put in my next video. There's a few people who sent me multiple craft and just all kinds of other stuff. And I'm really just looking forward to having fun with all of this again. I, I really did miss this game, and it kind of sucked not being able to play for basically almost an entire week. But there's only so much you can do, guys. There's only so much you can do, and I really want you guys to know that I am still here and definitely still going to be doing... How come I can't see... Uh... How far away is this? Oh, that is pretty far away. I thought that was, like, only a few, like, 50, 60 kilometers away, but... Alright, so let's see. We definitely have a lot of fuel left. On our last launch as well, I ended up just jettisoning the remainder of the fuel, and there was really just no point in keeping it. I, I didn't really want to keep it, and we're also going to be adding a fuel tank onto this, so... I, I figure with the fuel tank that we are going to be adding... I don't know if I'm going to bring an orange tank this time. That's the other thing. I think I might just kind of optimize it to where it's just enough fuel to get there. I think that will work out a lot better than bringing just loads of fuel. And it really will save me a lot of time. So let's see. Let's just get rid of this guy. There we go. Beautiful. So I'm going to cover this a little bit. Obviously this docking port here. Ooh, that isn't good. This docking port here will be basically for... what is that? I, I don't know. This will be for when we initially bring up our fuel tank. The fuel tank will just be attached to here and then we can just get rid of it once it's empty. On here, our module for our space station basically starts right here on this small junior docking port and then there is these four outside docking ports along with this center one which will be attached 
this part right here will be attached to the station. So these other ones here will be open for anything to come up and dock and do whatever it wants and then leave. So I really don't know exactly how the station is going to come together 100%, but I do have ideas on stuff I want to do. So yeah, guys, next space station part will eventually be launched, but that will be at another time. I'm not sure when, but anyways, guys, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come to all you new people. Welcome, and uh, yeah, I will see you next time.